Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk, and if you watch my videos, you know I like to just get to it. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is activate a, a, this is a virtual machine, but it would work no matter whether it's virtual or not. This is an 8.1 Windows operating system, and a lot of people have been having trouble um, activating for some reason. I'm not trying to suggest that you should be um, illegally um yeah, activating your operating system but let me go ahead and show you really quick whether or not this works or not but i'm going to click on here and as you can see i'm in a virtual machine so let's um go ahead and um show you that this is not activated uh, i'm going to go to properties and this should open up and you can see i'm windows 8.1 um and down here you can see that windows is not activated so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to run this i'm going to run it as administrator and i'm going to hit yes now you have to be connected to the internet for this to work um, it will not work if you're not connected now you're going to get this scary message and you can just hit zero to continue and for 8.1 you're going to want to grab the ts forge so we're going to do number three here option three okay now that i've clicked the ts forge i'm going to go ahead and select number one for windows and i'm going to select one and let's see what happens crossing fingers you're going to have to copy this and i'll show you that in just a second on how to do that but anyways let's go ahead and um it says uh core is permanently activated with uh press any key to... all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and hit refresh here and see what happens Now, as you can see, it now it says Windows is activated. All right, so I basically had to close it and reopen it. So that actually works. Um, so um, let me know what you think. Try it out. And like I said, this is 8.1. I mean, there's there's 8 and 8.1. And if you have 8.1, it looks like this should work. But like I said, use this at your own risk. Um, this is not my code. I did not write this. Um, this has been out for a really, 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 really long time. And um, I don't see any complaints about it. But um, I just use this for testing purposes in a virtual machine. I have no intentions of using this on a real machine. All right, so now that we know that it works, let me show you really quick how to create this file. So you're going to have to copy the code from the description below. And I'm just going to open, I'm going to edit this because it would be the same as you copying it from the description below. Um, so you can see it's a lot of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control A, but you're going to make sure you copy every bit of this code. You don't want to miss any of it. And then just go copy and then go over to your computer, right click and then go new and then go to text document and don't worry about naming it. Go ahead and double click on it. Control V and that should do the trick or right click and paste um as i guess what i was trying to say but and then you're just going to go file save as and you can name it anything you want really i named it activate.cmd so i'm going to call it activate2.cmd and then you're going to see a new file show up on the the desktop i'm going to hit save um, of course, select your location where you want to save it. So now you'll see activate too. You could, like I said, I could have named this anything. I named it activate the first time. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. And please, if this helps you, please consider at least giving it a thumbs up. All right, my friends, have a great night.